All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad. This is a ThinkPad X13 Yoga Gen 2. All right, we're gonna be using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to remove the screws from the bottom. You wanna keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths, assuming they actually come out. It looks like the screw actually stays in. Okay, let's see here. Do all the screws stay in? Okay, looks like it. If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. <coughs> all right, and yeah. All right, so we got all these screws out. Let's go ahead and pop the bottom cover off. So we'll lift this up. There's a clip here, so we can go under there. Come on, why is it, there we go. And you might wanna double check if it's still stuck. Okay, the screws all came out. Sometimes they kind of stick back and you might have to unscrew them again. But anyways, there we go. So we'll get the bottom cover off. For some reason, this computer won't turn on. So we're taking a look to see if we find anything strange in here. Okay, I don't really see anything strange here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pop the battery out. Okay. There's one screw here, another screw here, another screw here, three, got another one down here, okay, another one over here, and I think that's all of them. Let's go ahead and pop this out, I'll go under here and then just pull straight up. Might have to push this down. Let's try from here as well. There we go. And then slide it out this way. The battery model number is right here. L20M3P71. Okay. All right. We're going to also disconnect the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery. Okay. So I'll unplug this guy. All right, now I'm gonna open up the laptop and press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power. All right, this makes it safer to work on and also if there's some BIOS issue, it will reset that as well. So let's hold it for a few more seconds. Okay, yeah, it should be good. All right, I'm also gonna short the two BIOS pins here, CMOS pins, okay. Make sure that the BIOS has reset. I don't see any like short or anything here. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a closer look. There's two connectors going into the screen. I'm not sure which is for what, but uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really say, but if you need to remove them, there's a flip latch, you flip that up and then you can go ahead and pull the cable out, but I'm gonna leave that in there. <clears throat> okay, same thing with this side. Okay, I just want to make sure all the connections are nice and tight. Wireless card is soldered to the board, so you can't replace it without replacing the whole board. Um, to remove the antennas, you go from the tail and pull straight up, but I'm going to leave that as is. Here's the fan connector, all right? To get that, you go from the wings and just wiggle and pull. I'm going to leave that as is as well. <clears throat> There's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD here one screw. Once you undo the screw, you can pull it up slightly, then you kind of wiggle and pull this little, call thing, oh, the thermal pad underneath. There you go. They put a thermal pad there, and then this can slide out from here, as you can see. Okay, M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. This is a Western Digital, what does it say, the capacity? 512 gigs. Okay. I'm going to put that back in, get this back in, it goes in at an angle, okay, and then you lower this down, all right, I'm going to put this screw back in, <clears throat> all right, you got the touchpad, trackpad connector here, looks like there's screws if you need to remove the touchpad, all right, several screws. Um, those look to be PH0, JS0 screws. Then they have these two connectors. Most likely this is for the keyboard and this is there, that little thing. Yeah, for this little track point button in the middle. Okay, I believe that's for that. 
There's two connectors that aren't being used. I'm not sure what they're for. One says NFC, the other one says card something. So some models, they have a little card reader thing here. As you can see that little notch that would go here and then they would have an NFC for like tapping your phone or something. All right, speaker connection right here. Also with the wings, you grab, wiggle and pull that speaker. There's no screws, it's just held in with these little rubber things on post. You can just lift it out. The other speaker's connected right there. Okay. Um, you got this little cable here, which connects to the um, stylus and fingerprint reader connection here. So this is most likely for the power button slash fingerprint reader, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and I think that's about it. There's also this little battery reset button here that you can press through the bottom cover. There's a little hole in the bottom for pressing that. Okay. But, uh. It worked one time to start the computer up again, but now it's not working. So I don't know if they damaged the button or if it's just the motherboard finally gave out completely. Anyways, let's go ahead and put it back together. We're going to go ahead and get the CMOS BIOS battery reconnected. I like to pinch both together so it's not just putting a bunch of force on the connector. <clears throat> okay, we'll get the battery back in. You need to make sure these little things tuck under first. Then get that and push that down. All right, and then we'll get all the screws back in. Again, if this video helped you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. I also have another channel called It's Been Reviewed and More. Same profile picture, but um, zoomed in more because it's like a close look at things, right? Uh, review. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Let's actually see if this turns on before I put the bottom cover on. Nope. Nope, it seems like it's dead. Let's try plugging in a USB-C charger. Oh, it's lighting up. So I think that fixed it. Maybe their charger's bad. It looks like it's powering up. It's going to take some time because we reset the BIOS. So most likely it's going to take a while, but the power light's on. Okay. And we'll just give it some time. Come on. I'm assuming if I unplug it, it's going to die. So I'm going to leave it plugged in. We'll give it a few minutes. Sometimes it can take quite a long time. The power light's still on. Come on. So I'm going to leave it on so you can see how long it takes. That way you won't panic if yours takes forever. <clears throat> and I hope it's good. I don't know for sure. It could be still something wrong with it. But we'll find out. Is the fan spinning? The fan is spinning. Oops, the speaker fell out. Okay, still nothing on the screen. Again, give it time. If you're impatient, just walk away. <clears throat> I'll leave it on. And, yeah, maybe come back the next day. <laughs> Still nothing. Come on, wake up. Hopefully it's not completely dead. There you go. See how long that took? It took forever. That always gives me a slight panic attack with how long they take to come up. So date and time is going to be reset. You're going to have to redo the date and time. All right, so make sure to set the date and time back properly. Otherwise, your internet and other stuff's not going to work. You can actually see, oops, 
tells you to check the date and time, all right? If you want, you go to F1 and then you set that up. But I'm going to put the bottom cover back on, reassemble this, and we should be good to go. All right. So bottom cover, you get this lined up like that, going at an angle. Okay, make sure this gap is closed when you go to put it back. Okay, come on. Okay, make sure there's no big gap there. And then we'll go ahead and get these screws back in. I like to twist it backwards to hear it click into place first. That way I know it's lined up right. And then we'll tighten it down. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others. Watch a few of my other videos. Watch my other channel. And that's pretty much it. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and flip it back over. And then I'll set the date and time off camera. But, yeah. Alright, so there we go. Okay, it's working without the plug. I want to make sure it's okay. And, yeah, I'm just going to set the date and time. But that's pretty much it. I just want this as a thumb, part of the thumbnail. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's drop this. I'll talk to you later. See you later. Bye.